Well guys, I'm back at it again. I uh, went and got my welder and brought it home and now I gotta weld this bracket onto uh, the guy right about there. And uh, get my brake lines all situated. And then uh, I'm gonna try to take the friggin' pinion or the can you even see it? I don't know. I think that's it, I think. No, probably not. Uh oh. I think it's right there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that off and uh, drill out the threads so I can put in the uh, U-joint U-bolts. So, friggin' right. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll just get this welded on then. Friggin' welding cables all stiff because it's cold. I'm used to the, the mask we've got at the shop, not this one, so I keep trying to flip it up and down and not going so good. <laughs> Trying to get that back uh, axle situated better, and uh, yeah, one more hold on that holder. There, I don't believe that's good. Oh shoot! Did you guys see that fire? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you gotta be kinda careful. Forgot my shop's got a bunch of friggin' oil and stuff all over the floor, so. Yeah. <laughs> At least I don't have that bottle of friggin' uh, nitromethane sitting around. Nitromethane. No, it was that uh, RC nitro stuff. Yeah, that was friggin' dangerous. <laughs> Now I got it. Freaking rates. Right. Get those brake lines better tighten up and Bob's your own. I can find my tools. Well, I just had shop equipment malfunction. This copper tube is friggin' just ruined. So I'm gonna have to go in and uh, get a friggin' 
new piece of friggin' steel tube. Well, steel would probably rust, but not in the friggin' time that I'm ever gonna own this thing, so. Frig sakes. Well, I did have some friggin' new crush collars, but there's just not enough left of this to friggin' flare. It's just, you can't. You can't. So, friggin' got no air now. Frig sakes. And uh, I was trying to get that freaking pinion thing off, the yoke, and uh, all of a sudden I just heard a shh and nothing, so freaking right. I don't like that kind very much. And I doubt I'll be able to strong arm that thing off because uh, it's just going to spin. Uh, the only way I'd be able to do that is to put the tires on it and put it on the ground and then I might be able to get it. But uh, if I put the tires on the ground, I risk friggin' this thing popping off, and yeah, so friggin', I don't know, it's just not a good day, I guess. Frig sakes. Well, I propped two pieces of uh, steel underneath the lug nuts and friggin' torqued the crap out of it. Oh, look, I got it off. Friggin' right. But uh, yeah, I got it drilled out. And I friggin' snapped the end right off my drill bit. It friggin' went in and stoved on that, went crick. So, friggin', and I only got the top two friggin' holes done. So anyways, these are the U-bolts. And look, oh crap, no, they don't fit. Oh. So now I'm frigged. <laughs> Could have sworn when I held this up to it uh, before I even started this, it friggin' fit. But, uh, I don't know. I guess, uh... This guy like goes freaking wrong. So, freak sakes, I just uh, wrecked that. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. And this one that uh, these are off of and do fit on is wrong splines, and this is too big. So, freak sakes, really ruined or good. But, uh, oh well. Oh well, live and learn. So, uh, frig, I guess uh, I'm done for the day because I'm friggin' don't feel like doing this anymore. <laughs> yeah, that thing works freaking awesome. I love that kind. So, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.